Welcome to day nine of Critical Encounters Villainous Yule Calendar for December 2022. Here we get in the holiday spirit and take a quick look at some random festive aspect of the game. So let's peek behind the door and see what our so-called villains are up to. Hey Steve, can you get the door? You're closest. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Hey, hey, everybody! Moose is oh, here! What? Mustafa! Moose 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 hey, everyone. Moose oh my god! How uh, are you? I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I miss you guys. Um, oh. And, you know, I, D Daniel said something about some sort of calendar you were putting together, so I came in my swimsuit. <laughs> 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 Um, that's a great outfit for the winter. Yeah, yeah, that's great. If Different I kind lost, of calendar, but uh, still, still. If I lost fifteen <laughs> pounds, it would be great. But you know, I think our listener won't mind. I think they already have low standards. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you been up to? Oh, I don't know. Living, raising kids. Mm. Thinking. Those sound like villainous pursuits. Yeah. I think I think everyone wants to know, Mustafa, what's on your mind tonight? Well, I'm really glad you asked me that question. <laughs> uh, so I bet you are. <laughs> I didn't come prepared because you literally told me five minutes ago that I was supposed <laughs> to say something. So I didn't even know I Daniel could... invited you to the party. Yeah. <laughs> the beauty of this is that I Moose has had a week to think of this. But okay. I haven't I anyway, I was actually thinking about saying something that's of substance, but <laughs> since you told me that this is in the kind of fluffy Dickens No no no, you know, we want substance. We want whatever is on your mind. I'm going to uh, no, I'm gonna tell you a folk tale from Turkey, which is where the actual Saint Nicholas is from. So there is this historical figure uh, about uh, whom there's a lot of stories told. Um, some of these stories are m almost certainly uh, apocryphal, whatever that, however you pronounce that. I think there's a character with the same name. Apocryphus? Uh, there you go. <laughs> I think you I was pronounced, that character. pronounced I, apocryphal correctly. Oh, thank you. I, you know, Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, of doubtful authority. Yes. Or, okay. You know, I I think I even voiced that character once, but I digress. <laughs> the last of the else. So this this guy is is this folk hero, but he's not a hero as you would think of a hero. They're definitely not like a Marvel hero. So this is a guy who is uh Nasreddin is his name. His name is Nasreddin Hoja. Hoja is a kind of learned person, but this guy is nowhere near a learned person. He's just a kind of wise, a folksy guy. So here's one story. Um, so one day, Nasreddin Hoja borrows a cauldron from his neighbor, uh, but doesn't return it for a long time. And the neighbor comes knocking on the door. He says, Hoja, if you're finished with the cauldron, if you're finished using it, can I take it back? The wife is making a lot of food, needs it today. Ah, of course, Hoja says. Just wait a minute, I'll fetch it. Comes back, holding the cauldron. And when he hands it over, the neighbor notices there's a small pot in it. Neighbor goes, what is this? Well, neighbor, congratulations, your cauldron gave birth to a baby pot while it was with us, <laughs> he says. The neighbor is incredulous, yet he can't say no to a pot. Uh, thanks to Hoja. <laughs> <laughs> takes his cauldron and the new pot and goes home. A few weeks after this incident, the Hoja comes again, asks to borrow the cauldron again. Neighbor's like, all right, I'm going to get another pot. Just hands over the cauldron. And of course, it takes, again, ages for him to return it. Neighbor goes back and says, Hoja, are you done with the cauldron? What happened? Um... Can can I give? Can I take it back? And the Hojas goes, ah, neighbor, 
uh, you won't believe this, but I'm afraid your cauldron died. And and <laughs> and neighbor goes, Hoja, that's not possible. How can a cauldron die? And and Hoja has the answer ready, my dear neighbor. You can believe that it gives birth, but you can't believe that it can die. Of course, it can die. <laughs> so, that's a little introduction to Nasrettin Hoja and um, and uh, and his his uh, oeuvre. Well, so <laughs> what's our takeaway from that, Rustava? Well, I'll tell you another Nasrettin Hoja story so you can decide for yourself what okay. your takeaway should be. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so <laughs> he serves for whatever reason as a kade for a very brief time period, and you'll understand why. He a serves kade as is what? Like a, a kade is a, is a prosecutor slash judge type of okay. official back in the Ottoman times. So he's serving, and they bring a complaint. Uh, one of the neighbors comes with a complaint against a fellow neighbor. The Hoja listens to the complaint very carefully and says, yes, he says, you know, neighbor number one, you're right. And then the other neighbor goes, but you didn't even listen to me. I need to tell you my side of the story. So he listens to the other side and he says, yes, neighbor two, you're quite right too. Um, Hoja's wife is listening from the room next door and just opens the door and says, what are you doing? They can't both be right. And he goes, yes, dear wife, you're also quite right. <laughs> <laughs> so he's kind of like a Santa Claus type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to tie this all into your little advent calendar thing. Wow. Oh. I'm so glad you found us back in the lair, Moose. Oh. Yeah. The, the directions were hard to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Open the third manhole cover. <laughs> yeah. Well, Most of it, that was so fun. These are all correct. You know, these are all actual folk stories I just found online. There's a whole bunch of them. He's a <laughs> fascinating character. Um, and what is his name? Nasreddin Hoja. Nasreddin um, Hoja. All right. Yeah, it's H O D J A, although in Turkish it's H O C A, but you pronounce it with that like the D, the that sound that the D and the J make in English. He's um he's supposed to have lived in the 13th century, but there are all these stories attributed to him. Uh and he's known across the region. Like the Greeks have Nasreddin Hoja stories, the Iranians, the Azerbaijanis and all that. Um He's a trickster. He's kind of like a, a a storyteller and a trickster. I will, I will post something into the chat um, if I can figure out how to do that. Post private chat. Oh, that was funny. There you go. Um. Anyway, it's it's fun hanging out with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Um. I hey, this is just be... pictures of you in your swimsuit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, eat my coat. Eat is a very famous uh, story, um, and it's it's actually a quite witty uh, and a bit of a social criticism, if you will. Well, I wish you all continued success in your <laughs> next hundred thousand downloads. Um, I, again, you. if you ever want to, you know, chat about anything, yeah, I'm 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 around. Well, now that you're back on Discord, yes, I'm back. You can on show Discord. whatever the hell you want, man. <laughs> All right, take care, everyone. Have a good night. Yeah, bye, Moose. Bye. bye. I need to figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the door? Hey, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. That was our special gift to you. You want to send us holiday gifts? You can email us at criticalencounterspod at gmail dot com. We are Critical Encounters on Facebook. Or you can find us on YouTube by searching for Critical Encounters Podcast. And on Discord, we are Vardine, Big Foam Bloaf, and Wandering Tuke. If you like our show, tell Santa. If you don't like our show, tell Krampus. Good night, everyone. <laughs>